Long ago, when these ancient Grecian temples were new, hemp was already old in the service of mankind. For thousands of years, even then, this plant had been grown for cordage and coarse cloth in China and elsewhere in the East. For centuries prior to about 1850, all the ships that sailed the western seas were rigged with hemp and rope and sails. For the sailor, no less than the hangman, hemp was indispensable. A 44-gun frigate, like our cherished old Ironsides, took over 60 tons of hemp for rigging. including an anchor cable 25 inches in circumference. The Conestoga wagons and prairie schooners of pioneer days were covered with hemp and canvas. Indeed, the very word canvas comes from the Arabic word for hemp. In those days, hemp was an important crop in Kentucky and Missouri. Then came cheaper imported fibers for cordage, like jute, sisal, and manila hemp, and the culture of hemp in America declined. But now, with Philippine and East Indian sources of hemp in the hands of the Japanese, and shipment of jute from India curtailed, American hemp must meet the needs of our army and navy, as well as of our industries. In 1942, patriotic farmers, at the government's request, planted 36,000 acres of seed hemp an increase of several thousand percent. The goal for 1943 is 50,000 acres of seed hemp. In Kentucky, much of the seed hemp acreage is on river bottom land such as this, along the Kentucky River Gorge. Some of these fields are inaccessible except by boat. Thus, plans are afoot for a great expansion of the hemp industry as a part of the war program. This film is designed to tell farmers how to handle this ancient crop now little known outside Kentucky and Wisconsin. This is hemp seed. Be careful how you use it. For to grow hemp legally, you must have a federal registration and tax stamp. This is provided for in your contract. Ask your AAA committee man or your county agent about it. Don't forget, hemp demands a rich, well-drained soil such as is found here in the bluegrass region of Kentucky or in central Wisconsin. must be loose and rich in organic matter. Poor soils won't do. Soil that will grow good corn will usually grow hemp. Hemp is not hard on the soil. In Kentucky, it has been grown for several years on the same ground, though this practice is not recommended. A dense and shady crop, hemp tends to choke out weeds. Here's a Canada thistle that couldn't stand the competition dead as a dodo. Thus, hemp leaves the ground in good condition for the following crop. For fiber, hemp should be sown five pecks to the acre. With drill, the closer the rows, the better. These rows are spaced about four inches. 